Good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are. Uh, this is now uh, October 9th, 2023, and uh, another broadcast from Kiryat Arba, Hebron. In regards to our personal situation here, we're holding our own. Some terrorists were killed last night, and they were uh, trying to ambush members of uh, the Army Patrol. I'm continuing to patrol personally with my pincer together with local um, people that were called up for duty. Uh, so we are quite secure here. Uh, we are taking no prisoners. The general information, the situation is uh, not as good as it could be. Total failure of our, our intelligence, a total failure of our army. Just unbelievable that on Shabbat, a holy day, doubly holy because it was also the Shabbat and one of the holy days of Israel, Simchat Torah, the day that we got the Torah. And all of the uh, non religious people were having. Uh, a trance next to the next to the fence. And of course, when they came in, they nabbed a bunch of them and killed a bunch of them and massacred a bunch of them. And now there are almost 200 captives that have been placed on the rooftops or in the top or upper apartments of all of the centers of the Hamas in Gaza in order to prevent Israel from attacking their military infrastructure. Obviously, from their part, it's a good move because they understand we are very, very hesitant to make the decision to hit the Hamas at the expense of our own people. And if Bibi should do so, that will be the last time he'll ever be in office. And the simple matter is that it's a decision that one party cannot make. That's why I and many people are calling for a national unity party made up of all of the elements in the uh, parliament. So a decision to go in will be a decision that's binding and a decision that's as a result of an agreement of all of the parties in Israel to endanger the lives of 200 men, women, and children in order to kill the enemy requires national unity. What are they asking for? Uh, first of all, they want to have us release all of the terrorists in Israeli jails. I assume that then under the Egyptian auspices, there'll be bus that will transfer back and forth uh, the prisoners that they have uh, of our people and the prisoners that we have of the terrorists. This is not going to happen, at least not at this stage. So the decision that has to be made now, are we going into Gaza to get the, to get our, 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 our captives? Or are we going to flatten Gaza and hope that some of the captives will survive the, uh, the major attack? I can't really give you an opinion on this because if it were left up to me, I wouldn't want to be the one to make the decision. And so I assume that Bibi has got the same problem. We have to, as a nation, determine to surrender to Hamas and make a prisoner exchange or to attack Hamas at the expense of our own people who are in captivity. So I'll leave you with this this idea, tell me, what would you do? I'll be in touch with you soon.